This is what a week in the life of a flight attendant looks like. Chris and I, we flew from Dallas, Fort Worth this morning, and even like hung around in Dallas. Didn't even have to rush out. No. Went to Admiral's Lounge. It was a very luxurious travel day. And now we're at Disneyland in California. It's just crazy. We're here, guys. story my little sister she decided she wanted to go to Vegas with her friend for like a few days well guess what I traded into a trip so we're going out in Vegas and you guys know how I'm moving and like packing all my stuff to LA I had to go out and buy these shoes because I had packed all of my shoes so I'm gonna go over to another crew member's room and I think we're all gonna go to the win or something do something or another and this is the vibe. I didn't bring any purses, so I'm gonna have to like stash my cards somewhere. I don't know, hotel key. I didn't even think this through. Genius, usually I have a purse on me. See you in the morning. I plan to be back in the room by like midnight, fingers crossed. We got in at like 7.30, so it's not too late. <laughs> Uh, okay, different opening to the vlog than I usually do because I like to come on here and be like, I'm flight attendant Jojo, life's amazing, so happy, but having a moment, looking like I just worked a three-day trip. I'm thinking about what my life is going to be like in New York and how I'm so excited to get out of Dallas. <laughs> I sit here on my couch and just so excited to get out of Dallas. <laughs> this video that you're gonna watch is my last DFW trip. I mean, don't hold me to that one because um, I'm looking to pick up a Hawaii. So if you're dropping Hawaii or Dublin, let a girl know, because you guys know I'm gonna be commuting from LA to JFK and that gets me so excited. That's what I'm just laying here thinking about because most days off when I'm in Dallas, <laughs> I sit on my couch and like do nothing. I'm just so excited to not be alone anymore. Like Marcus is, <laughs> I say alone because he pretty much is just like, we are one, so. To be with my family in LA is way more valuable. I'm gonna have to sacrifice the five, six hour commute there, but I don't even care. Like it will be worth it to me because I won't have to sit on the couch by myself anymore. Get to be with family and friends and that is the most important thing in my life but i'm so excited for you guys to watch this vlog this is the end of an era like and subscribe Hope you okay we are back and we are working a trip this week has been so much fun for us because we went to disneyland and then we got to go to a dodgers game i was off today and i've been trying all day long to get a trip for tomorrow like i just want to do a turn it's after 10 p.m at night and i finally got a trip for tomorrow so it's a turn i am leaving i'll probably leave my apartment at 7 a.m it's a deadhead to st louis so i will be a passenger going to st louis and see when things fall apart they need you to passenger a flight and then you end up working a flight back and probably bringing back her crew or bringing back an airplane something like that so that's what i'm doing i'm working the flight back from st louis to dallas it is a friday tomorrow and i will be back by like 2 p.m which is great it's exactly what we want so 
easy, easy day, kind of like a nine to five concept, but you know, the flight attendant version of a nine to five. <laughs> Good morning, we're starting a trip today. Um, it's a three day trip, long trip. First, gonna make some coffee, 6.50. I have had much earlier wake ups, but there was a thunderstorm in Dallas last night. They're insane here. Like, you just think your window's gonna get blown through or something. Marcus is coming on this trip. It's just one flight to Pittsburgh. As long as this goes smoothly, it should be a very easy morning into our hotel. Going to downtown, gonna walk to the Dodger game. chilling. I just changed out of my uniform, got comfy and warm. It's pretty cold. Let's go eat some food. We're walking around and look at this building. Oh, it looks so cool. like that New York building. The building that's in New York. You know which one I'm talking about? The building. Yeah. <laughs> Going across the bridge. Seen like at oh, least four here. people. Another pair of Dodger fans. Yeah. Four people carrying sweet tea by the gallon. <laughs> by okay, the just, gallon. Sweet tea or it was, else? No, they're I think it's sweet tea. Really? Tell me if Pittsburgh people do that. <laughs> so much fun in Pittsburgh but I did not sleep well at all the bed was like so small if you can see this it is I think what is this a queen or a king that last room was like two doubles so Marcus was a little bit in the middle and I had nowhere to sleep so I had to go to the second bed and sleep there during the evening four hour flight time, four hour, four minute. And it was so smooth. It was so funny from Pittsburgh to Phoenix. And then Marcus did Pittsburgh to Dallas. And it was so bumpy because he had to go straight through weather. And it took him like a long time because they were going through weather. Cleaners came on, 10 minute turnaround. Passengers back onto the plane, not the same ones. We don't do like connect the roof lights, I guess. We just have completely different passengers, whatever. The likelihood is like maybe two or three to five people are the same, but I didn't notice anyone really that was the same. And then Phoenix to Sacramento. So we're now in Sacramento. Um, the flight was like an hour 34. So did a quick service and then we were pretty much landing. Yes, I got the habit. I'm so excited. And this is the view. There's some sort of like convention, something going on downstairs. And there were like a hundred high schoolers in the lobby. trip I had worn my new high heels worst blisters of my life so I had to get these and if you're a girl and you wear heels and you might get blisters wear these so they're like this they're 
amazing. They just look like your skin. And I got these because I've been eating them like maybe one every day. I'm really trying to up my protein. Which leads me into dinner. It's four in the morning and I don't get back to my apartment until like 6 p.m. I cannot believe this was my last trip. I had a really good crew. A few of us went down to the lobby. There was a happy hour yesterday and we just like chatted about life. It's so funny how you just like hear all the innermost details <laughs> of your crew members' lives even though you are probably never gonna see them again and you only see them for like three days total. That's just like how crew members are. Marcus has a ton of travel hairsprays and the yellow can ones that are just like the best hairsprays ever. If you know the brand I'm talking about. I'm gonna steal them. Feel so bad, I don't wanna take his hairspray. But since we're moving, they have to go somewhere. So they're gonna go in my bag. That ended um, with a insane weather storm right as we were about to leave for Denver. So we did three flights. Great Sacramento to Dallas, but then we did Dallas, Denver, and the pilots were like, I don't think we're gonna make it out. Storm's coming in. Well, we made it out. But coming back, they called us on the phones during the DFW Denver, and they're like, we're staying the night in Denver for sure. Like storms in Dallas, we're not gonna make it back. We already, we're at like an 11 hour day. They have a specific amount of hours, so like gone illegal, not great. I was expecting for that three day to turn into a four day. Got on the ground, I told Marcus like, I think we're just gonna lay over here. He's like, are you serious? But the pilots were like, if in the gate agents, all of us as a crew, as a team, we all agreed, if we get this plane out as fast as possible, then maybe we can beat the weather. We got the plane loaded out of there in time. They let us land. The pilots called, they're like, we might divert to Houston, wherever. I think it was Houston, but it kind of looked like we could have been going to Austin. And then we got in line to land and I was so excited. And it was clear, not clear, it was like just no rain when we landed. And then on my drive home, it was pouring, stormy. I don't know if there was lightning though, cause that's like the reason why the ramp shuts down is lightning. So great way to end in Dallas is, you know, the random weather storm that comes through and like makes everything go to a disaster. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. What it's like being a flight attendant for a week. <laughs>